Parsnick will start with you in the back. Uh, you know, it means a lot. Uh, I think this was career start number six for me. So, I mean, you know, it means a lot every time I get that opportunity to go out there and uh, not only represent the T, but get to represent my hometown of Corrington as well. Because, you know, all of them that have uh, supported me to get to this point uh, are still a huge impact in my life. Uh, and just any time you get to wear the orange and white as a kid that grew up watching the orange and white, it's a huge honor and it's a privilege to be able to do it. Uh, you know, obviously, of course, I was looking forward to uh, earning that starting spot, uh, spot at the guard and worked a lot towards that. But I also, throughout my entire career, through high school, college, you name it, like I, center has always been second nation to me, something that I've always had to play. So it wasn't too much of an adjustment. Uh, it was more or less just taking more of those uh, reps than I had previously before. Um, and actually kind of honing in on the technique and stuff that goes in that position. Uh, Coach Ellerby did a great job with kind of helping me with that. And then having uh, great centers in the room with Parker and Cooper being able to help me too in areas that I, they can see more that I'm not necessarily seeing every single day, so. Did Cooper give you any advice before taking the field in Nissan on Saturday? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much um, Cooper's been there in my ear ever since uh, I've been taking up more of the simmer, uh, center reps. You know, he's a great leader and a great captain for this team and this offensive line. And pretty much what he told me Saturday was just go out there and play, be you, and play your game. And that gave me all the confidence I had to go play that game. Okay. <coughs> Sounds like from the coaches, you guys have pretty good communication on the offensive line. With so many moving parts and a lot of guys getting playing time, why have you guys been able to communicate so well and did you? Uh, I feel like a lot of it is accredited to just being such a tight-knit group that we are. Uh, up front, uh, you know, the five guys up there, they got to be best friends. You got to be brothers because you're all going through the same thing every single day. And I think even with the rotating part, like everybody that we trust to go in the game, we trust that they are great athletes and they're going to go out there and they're going to play their best. And everybody's uh, keened into what they need to do on every single play. And the communication goes easy when you can just talk to everybody and everybody knows what you're talking about. You're all on the same uh, page, using the same language, and it makes everything a lot easier. So Rick in the back and then Ben. Hey, Al. Uh, the production out of the running game, how gratifying was that for you guys on the offensive line? How much did that, that kind of production help you guys throughout the season? Uh, you know, it, uh, that's probably the biggest uh, stat that, as an offensive line, we kind of focus on a lot is our rushing yards. and. You know, having a three-headed monster at running back is also an amazing thing to have, be able to block for those guys like uh, Jabari, J. Wright, and D. Sam. You know, it makes, makes our lives easier. Uh, but it also it, uh, credits us to just how hard we work and how much work we put in the fall to be able to put up numbers like that day in and day out. Uh, I think our defense is probably one of the harder defenses that we'll ever go against, and we go against them every single day. So it gives us almost the best looks that you're ever going to get in the nation. And I think that helps us a lot because, you know, when you're going out there preparing for other teams, you still have to think back to, well, I've got to block Amari every single day. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. So, I mean, you're prepared for what's coming for you because you're already working against some of the best in the country every single day. Yeah, you know, it, it is very impressive. You know, Dane's a really smart athlete. Uh, he does everything that we ask him to do. And, uh, you know, being a good friend with Dane, uh, he uh, really put in the work for it, knew what he had to do and what was being asked of him, and was able to accomplish it at a high level. And uh, a lot of that, I think I would accredit it to just him being smart and knowing what he's got to do uh, to be able to get on the field every day. Anything else for Ollie? Yeah. I guess what was it like? In Man, I've seen that clip about 100 times, and it gets better about every single time I watch it. it uh, one of the things it reminds me of is the, uh, that one clip from the Blindside movie where he says, Coach, I was just taking him to the bus. That's what it made me think of. You know, John 
John's a hard worker and he plays hard and he's a great guy. And seeing him put that kind of effort on film uh, really kind of motivates you to want to do more for guys like that. And you, know, you talked about uh, appreciating any time you go out there and wear the orange and white. Does it ever cease to amaze you, the crowds that you get, even when you're outside of Neyland Stadium right there? And that's uh, it always amazes me. You know, Vol Nation does a great job of going anywhere and everywhere that we go. And that's something that I've noticed through my six years here is that no matter what the situation is here in Knoxville, we're always going to have that support of all nation. And that helps a lot, especially through times of struggle, times of adversity. You know that at the end of the day, Vol Nation is still going to wear that power tee on their chest with pride. Anything else? Thanks, Ollie. Thank you, guys.